Hi everybody, as advertised, I'm back for more. In a little bit better mood today. Um, feeling like people are trying to help me as opposed to uh, get in my way with some vendors. So this is the Deer 7200 planner and the issue today that I'm working on are these two, or two of these tires. There's four tires here. One, two, three, four. And the issue is they need to be, two of them need to be changed. See that cracking is, I don't know how close it is to failing, but we'll find out. I don't want to find out. The problem was, or is, one of the challenges, I got to jack it up and get, you know, take the weight off the tires. Well, the two that I need to change have never been changed before, and I believe the reason for that is because you can't just drive the two good tires up on ramps like I tried to do and then the two that you want to change will be hanging in the air. I tried that and then I ended up talking to Rupa up at the dealer and he's like, no, there's like a balancing valve in there and they'll compensate and these outside tires will be on the ground. So what I had to do, I lower the planter to the ground and then I've got some cribbing and bottle jacks under the toolbar, which is that big, I think it's an eight by eight steel tube, the structural part, and it's also attached to the tractor. So, and I've got one on this side over here as well. There's that bottle jack. There's the drive chain, which gives you a hint that I managed to get one of them off. Um, there it is, and it's checked, or I don't know what you call it as well, but there's the space it came out of. And the little trick on the side here, it's gonna show, there's a set screw on this locking collar. And the way it's held in, there's a shaft, right, going through this, and then a bolt on each end but you have to make sure you take the set screw off and then back the locking collar off before you can do that. And the only way I found that out is looking on page you know, 40, 10, whatever, on the drive wheel planner. Should the wheel be disassembled, be careful not to damage. Install a special jam nut. You know, uh, so that little diagram really helped me out for the $100 book, paid its way, I guess. So I've got one done, and then this is the sprocket that comes, it, it, it goes on the hub, or on the shaft rather, and that sprocket, and then the sprocket and the idler gear, or the chain tensioner, I'm not sure what you would call it, go right here, and then of course the shaft goes through with the wheel on it, and then that chain hooks around the sprocket, and then drives the wheel and, and what that sprocket does, those chains, they drive the drive shaft. I don't know if you can see that piece of the octo octagonal, octagonal shaft that goes through the whole thing and that comes over here and it drives essentially your feed rate box. You change all these gears down. I don't know if the light's going to show, but you do different chains, move the chains around to change your seating rate. And it's ground driven, so number of seeds per acre. So like I said, you've seen me, I've got the one done out. In theory, <laughs> number two will come out even quicker. Um, and then I'll go have a cup of coffee and drive off to Barron and drop them off at the tire shop where hopefully they can swap them out in 20 minutes or so. I got the, the last two on the shelf. He said these tires are hard to find. They bought 20 of them and I got the last two. And, um, well, they don't make field calls for this kind of repair either. Normally they come out and fix stuff, but they don't want to take stuff off equipment. So that's the update. I'm feeling a little bit better about things. Um, it was a little bit of a challenge not knowing, man, how's that going to work? But it seems to be working, so I um, will continue to make videos and stick them on YouTube for my tens of viewers. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.